بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی says in the قرآن about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam why he was sent alayhi salatu wa salam or one of the reasons قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه في كتابه الكريم وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين that we didn't send you except as a mercy for mankind letting us know that the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام was sent as a mercy for mankind for all of mankind his message was عليه الصلاة والسلام and that that is a great ni'ma if only mankind would reflect and if only mankind would come to know that the message of Islam is for all and the example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was for all it's not for any particular people but it's for he's a, he was a rahmah for the alameen for all of mankind why is he a rahmah for all mankind because of the fact that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by his message Alayhi Salatu Wasallam of Islam that it is the means to take the people min dhulumat ila nur it is the means to take the people from darkness to the light that's the message of Islam that's the message we call mankind to. We don't call mankind to worship other than Allah. We call you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created you. He's the one who created you and he created all of this beauty. He created the majestic creation all of, with all of its wonders, all the wonders of life, the things that we know and that which we don't know, all the sciences. All of this was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why don't you worship him? And why don't you follow the example of the one who was sent as a rahmah and a mercy for all of us, for all of mankind, not for, to a particular race, a particular tribe, a particular people, but rather he, alayhi salatu wasalam, was sent to all of mankind. And that's the ni'mah. That's the ni'mah of Islam. Islam is like, as we witness this pure water. This water is pure, tuhur, and it's beautiful and it's clean and it's flowing. That's the example of Islam, when Islam per permeates a community and truly permeates the hearts and the minds and the souls and the actions of the people. Then it comes, as we see this, this water dropping in, it, it comes into the community and disperses and cleanses the people and purifies the people and gives the people direction and purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْسَ لِلِيَعْبُدُونَ I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Allah created all of this so that we would worship him and be thankful. So use this creation to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself in the shaitan. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and accept our fasting and forgive our many sins and protect us from everything harmful. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere to set the example of Islam, to spread the message of Islam in its real picture, in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in accordance with the Madhab and the Minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah, Radi Allah Ta'ala Anu Majma'een. And may Allah guide His creation and bless us to be a source of guidance. And may Allah forgive us. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Wasallam.